Hello friends, in this short session, we'll be talking about some of the most important classical eye view signs in genitourinary radiology, which can directly be asked as image based potters. So this is our first case. What do you see here? I hope all of you would be able to see that both the kidneys are lying slightly caudally and there is this enhancing parenchymal band which is connecting the lower pole of both the kidneys. So this is a classical example of a fusion abnormality of the kidney and in this case, this is a horseshoe kidney. Now let us have a look at the calluses. Do these calluses look normal? No. These calluses look as if they have been medially deviated in the form of a handshake. So this appearance of calluses is also called as handshake calluses or flower vase calluses. So this is about the classical signs of horseshoe kidneys. Now what are the various important salient features about horseshoe kidneys which you should remember? It is the most common congenital fusion anomaly of the kidney and the isthmus lies at the level of L3 vertebra. What are the increased risks? Horseshoe kidneys are at an increased risk for transitional cell carcinoma, for urinary tract infections, for calculi and for trauma. So this is about horseshoe kidneys. Now let's have a look at our second spot. What you can see here? In this eye view image, I hope all of you would be able to find out that there is bulbous dilatation of the left terminal ureter. Now looking at the CT urogram image, these findings are seen in a much better fashion and the appearance of this dilated terminal ureter is just like that of a cobra head or an adder head. So this appearance is also called by the name of cobra head appearance or adder head appearance and the diagnosis is a urethrocele. Now let's have a look at our third case. So what do you see in this particular case? In this case, I hope all of you will be able to see that there is dilatation of right ureter along with right hydronephrosis. Look at the shape of this ureter. There is abrupt narrowing of the ureter because the ureter appears kinked just like a fish hook or a J shape. So this fish hook ureter or a J shaped ureter is a classical example of retrocable ureter. Mind you a very important finding. Retrocable ureter is not an abnormality of ureter, rather it is a congenital anomaly of IVC in which IVC passes anterior to the ureter rather than passing posterior to the ureter. Now let's talk about our fourth case. What do you see in this IV image? Look at both the ureters. Both the ureters appear to have been medially deviated just like the waist of a maiden. So this waist of a maiden or maiden waist deformity is seen in condition called as retroperitoneal fibrosis where the fibrotic reaction is responsible for medialization or medial deviation of both the ureters and is usually associated with upstream hydronephrosis. There are two types of retroperitoneal fibrosis, either primary or secondary. Primary is called as hormones disease and secondary is caused usually due to radiation therapy or due to drugs like methysergite and methyl dopa. Now let's talk about our next case. What do we see in this particular radiograph? I hope in this radiograph you will be able to see that there is non-visualization of upper calyces of the right kidney and there is a drooping appearance of the lower calyces of the same kidney. This sign is called by the name of a drooping lily sign and is a classical sign of a duplex moiety in which the upper pole moiety is abnormally hydronephrotic and non-functional and it pushes the normally functioning lower moiety inferiorly. Now let's have a look at our next case. What do you see on this particular CT image? On this CT image, I hope all of you would be able to find out that both the kidneys are enlarged and there are multiple multiple cysts which are seen embedded within the renal parenchyma. So this is a classical example of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. Some of the important points about ADPKD. ADPKD is usually associated with perianeurysms, colonic diverticulosis and the important IVP signs that can be seen with ADPKD are Swiss cheese nephrogram and spider leg pilogram. So this is all about the classical IVU signs that we see in some important genitourinary disorders.